what happened? Like, what were you guys thinking, David Gordon Green? It's been four years since Michael Myers vanished without a trace. What's up, YouTube? Drive by Movies here again, and you are watching Fresh Releases. My name is James. My name is Blaze. And today we are checking out the film that came out in theaters, but it's also streaming on Peacock. Halloween ends. The saga of Michael Myers and Laurie Strode comes to a spine chilling climax in this final installment of this trilogy. Uh, the trilogy is Halloween. I think they left that <laughs> the synopsis for some reason. But anyways, yeah, this is the conclusion to the Halloween. Uh, not I wouldn't say saga because we're obviously going to get another Halloween movie at some point, but it does have an ending to at least this trilogy, this iteration of Michael. And because this is tied to the original Michael Myers films, I guess maybe it is the end of the saga as we know it. Uh, but anyways, I just want to get right into it. I know that this is a pretty loathed movie for the most part. And I think for myself, when I heard that this was, film was very divisive, I heard from many sources, it's a very divisive movie. Whenever I hear that, I always get like a little excited in the sense of like, oh, I'm either going to really like it or really dislike it. But I'm not just going to sit there and be like, this is fine, you know? But yeah, this film, because I dis, I think you can, we can go on, we went on record and just dis really disliked uh, Halloween Kills when it came out. No, that is I, not correct. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or you liked it, right? Or? Yeah, I enjoyed it. Yeah. Okay. I hated it. Sorry. I, yeah. I absolutely hated it. I thought it was the worst thing ever. So because I thought that Halloween Kills is the worst thing ever and a lot of people liked that movie and then a lot of people hated this movie, I thought maybe it'll go the other way for me and I might really like this movie. Oh my god. Like this this is just something else, but I'll let you no, give your I mean, thoughts on it. I can already tell you have a big dislike or distaste towards this film and I 100% agree. I don't know what the hell went wrong with this movie. I had all my drinks to have fun on an enjoyable night to watch a Halloween movie. Uh, I didn't really know what to expect with this movie because all I saw was just the teaser and they don't really show a whole lot. It just shows Lori and Michael fighting in the kitchen. So, you know, I knew it was going to come down to a climactic showdown between them, but I just had no idea where the plot was going to go. And I was curious why, like, it was already weird that Universal decided to release this on Peacock last year, but it was at a premium format, like where you still had it to pay it. like 30 it wasn't? Oh, no, I thought you had sorry. to pay $30. No, the only people who have done the premium format is Disney. Okay, I, okay. I thought that was the case with it. But, sorry. Um, if not, though, then yeah, I'm still surprised, though, just because uh, this movie does not work at all. And I see why Universal was just like, dump it on the streaming again. Also, because they announced it was going to Peacock like a month before. And I think people went in like kind of excited for this movie. I think like Halloween Kills, yeah, it had some disappointment, but it still had a decent amount of people enjoyed it. But this movie is just like, what happened? Like, what were you guys thinking, David Gordon Green and Danny McBride and other team? Like, I know John Carpenter executive produced this entire trilogy, but just how it whether or not you liked 2018 Halloween, is besides the point because how did we get that which feels like a masterpiece and then just yeah got worse in Halloween Kills I know you hated it but I thought it wasn't as good but I still enjoyed it but to this dear lord so go back uh, to uh, like how you were feeling yeah well I'll tell you actually I found out what David Gordon Green was thinking about when he created this film it was actually George Washington Okay. Uh, not his first film that he ever made just the money the currency george washington oh okay. i guess do the dollar dollar bills you know so just this, <laughs> not even ben franklin just single dollar bills <laughs> <laughs> i was trying to make a riff on the fact that his first film is called george washington but oh, okay. anyways uh yeah it, it, this is clearly a money decision and this was made far before uh far before even halloween kills this mm. this 
this series of movies, whether you want to call it a trilogy, whether you want to call it the trilogy conclusion to the saga of Michael Myers, whatever you want to call it, it doesn't really matter. But this films, these films were thought of uh, with the first film in mind, the first Halloween 2018 remake, whatever you want to call it, reboot, requel, whatever, doesn't matter. It's the Halloween movie from 2018. That film was well thought out. These other two were an afterthought and this whole package was sold as a trilogy. So the problem there is that the first film is excellent. I think pretty much everyone enjoys that first movie. It's incredible. The ending could have been the ending and then just that's it. There's no trilogy like that would have been yeah. an amazing ending. It's a cliffhanger. Did the did the firefighters go save Michael? Did Michael burn in the fire? It's up to you. It's up to your imagination. But really, we have to draw this whole thing out to the end and Halloween kills and then we get a whole new movie where they have literally no plot to go from so they just start from scratch and create new characters and a new plot that'll entertain audiences for generations to come <laughs> with Corey um but yeah this character who's essentially it's like how did Michael Myers become Michael Myers but like a metaphor for that while at the same time Michael Myers is taking this young Satan's little helper-esque character on his journey and how to kill people in these sewers and throughout Haddonfield this film is like torturous honestly this is like one of it's it, it, if I was to tell you the plot and everything you'd be like oh that sounds actually so bad that it's good there's nothing about this film that makes mm -hmm. it that though, which is the biggest disappointment. Like this could be a so bad it's good type movie, but it's not, it's just bad. It's in it yeah. and it's not even bad, it's just horrible. This film is honestly a disgrace. And I say that as somebody who hated Halloween Kills. Like I think a lot of people that dislike this movie liked Halloween Kills. I freaking hated both of them. Yeah. Yeah, this movie's script is just overall a mess. Uh, this movie honestly should have been called uh, Corey Dahmer, a Halloween story uh, with the colon in between. Uh, just because, uh, I mean, the main character looks like Jeffrey Dahmer with the glasses and the the oddly polite but oddly weird guy that like everyone just doesn't really like. The town kind of is just like hard on him, but has a cuteness, likable factor to him and stuff too. And I was enjoying his character for the most part. I kind of like the idea of maybe he does snap, but I know that Halloween Kills kind of introduced the fact that Michael Myers was a supernatural being at the end of that movie. He takes a beating and survives, but also like, so here's like some of the things where I'm just like, did you guys like not remember what you put in the last script and stuff? like? Like he got shot like a thousand times, got stabbed, beaten to a pulse. And yeah, he does go into a four year hibernation. What was he eating down there the whole time? And Rats. like, why do you, yeah, why does it kill this homeless guy all of a sudden? But apparently the homeless guy was there the whole time too. Um, but also just the fact that like Lori kill like spoilers, but Lori does kill Michael Myers and kills him with way less knives and way like easier of a beating compared to what he went through in Halloween Kills. Like I was just like, where's that supernatural aspect that comes back? But then introducing, I don't even know what to describe what happened when Corey and Michael Myers meet for the first time. They just look into each other's eyes and Michael's like, oh, you killed someone when you were younger. I'm just going to let you go. And then for some reason, he gets the same evil because you just established that it was an accident. Like it, it was a freak accident. He feels guilty. He's bummed that the whole town hates him. And then all of a sudden he just gets a taste for wanting to kill people like what the fuck? <laughs> like, okay, I have yeah. to say I did say that this film isn't so bad. It's good. The first five minutes of this film is so bad that it's good, though. The oh, I was cracking minutes, up at that intro. <laughs> the fact I was that dying laughing. He yeets, he like yeets this child off like a third story balcony and this child like dies and explodes like that. That <laughs> scene alone, like I wish like if I knew what the rest of the film was, I would have stopped watching right there and be like, this this film is incredible. This film is amazing. Yeah, but that's not that's not the case. You know, there's some interesting concepts that come about. Like, I like the idea of just like the town is haunted by, you know, 
all uh, like uh, the events of what happened to where like everything they associate like oh well was it michael myers and stuff but it's just gonna be haunted for years like i guess that was kind of the intention of like john carpenter's like uh thoughts on halloween 3 and stuff and whether or not they like if they are gonna keep making more of these like maybe they'll go in that direction like the spirit of michael myers just continues to live on and haunt the town somehow or just his memory whatsoever like that would have been fine if you did this Corey story like for a future movie and stuff but the fact that it's the central plot and you know one of the more likable characters i can't remember her name but the the granddaughter of laurie Strode allison. and stuff like just i couldn't just allison i couldn't justify anything that she does in this movie like what <laughs> happened like you just want to move with, you fall in love with this guy after like you haven't even gone on a date and you're like pressuring him to go to this party with you and stuff like you know he's troubled and stuff and you only had two interactions with him you're like you coming to this party with me or not i'm just like what is your problem and then like when he's obviously like upset about the whole thing and stuff too like i don't know they're just like no one is really likable Corey's only likable until he goes like crazy with the michael myers situation um but like even laurie strode was just kind of annoying in this movie too there's just yeah. no redeeming factor for this movie it's it's almost just as annoying and as upsetting as halloween 5 was i feel like yeah kind of similar for me it's like uh, it's like more upsetting than halloween kills but I, halloween kills the more i think about it i still get uh, very upset this has things <laughs> in it that aren't in halloween kills and halloween kills had things in it that weren't so they're not similar in that sense like a lot of the problems that i had with halloween kills aren't in this film they did kind of level it out and make it not the same but there's just really no redeeming qualities like you said about this movie uh, it's just so unenjoyable it's not a fun movie it's not a fun halloween movie it's not even a good horror movie it's just bad all around and the worst part about it is the fact that they're they're building this up to be like this is the conclusion to the halloween trilogy or saga or i mean you could take it both ways it could be the tr the conclusion to the saga which is even more disappointing it's disappointing alone in just a trilogy of a great film a a bad film in my opinion not yours but in my opinion a bad film and then this film that's even disappointing but mm -hmm. to to be the film that kills off michael for good you know i'm gonna air quotes that because we know that's not for sure it's so disappointing to then just have the film be like 70 percent about a character that they introduce at the beginning of this movie and all his character interactions and everything is just aloof Mm -hmm. and strange but i think what really sells it for me in this movie is the fact that the trailer universal released showed the best scene in the movie i guess i guess that's the best scene it's not even a good scene in the movie it's just like the best mm -hmm. scene that i guess the movie had if you think about it you yeah. know and it doesn't even show anything about what the movie is going to be about. That shows like they had no confidence in this. It's literally the opposite of the Monsters trailer because the Monsters mm -hmm. trailer is like the worst trailer ever made. But then the <laughs> film ended up not being that bad where this could technically be a great trailer because it showed an epic scene. But then the film has like almost like it just spoils the best scene in the film, essentially. So it's, right. it's so weird. The whole situation. Yeah. And it's funny, we've had arguments over what are the weird movies of franchise that like almost don't feel like the the weird oddball of a series. Like talked about how Friday the 13th part five is the weird one, not having Jason. Halloween three is bizarre, not having Michael Myers. But this film also just hardly has Michael Myers. Most of the kills are all done by Corey. Like Michael Myers only kills like what? The cop or did Corey kill the cop? And then the I know the DJ no. for sure, and then also the uh, yeah. the guy who is trying to bone Allison's friend gets killed right. too, and I think her as well, the friend yeah. as well. Yeah, I so, mean it was like I a mean, tag team effort. It was like literally watching any night on AEW wrestling. <laughs> it was just yeah, I don't know. It's just a really weird, unbelievable movie, and just like why did Corey feel the need to have to steal the Michael Myers mask? I mean, I know he's trying to kill Lord. I don't know. It's just dumb. I don't recommend it. I don't think you should watch it. Um, you're probably going to, though. Uh, if you do, a great way to help support the show is just by letting us know what you thought about the movie in the comments below. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, and click that notification bell to get all of our latest updates. 
if you can't get enough of us here on YouTube, check all our social media links down below in the description box for Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and Letterboxd accounts. That'll conclude this week's episode. Tune in next week for a brand new video. Thank you.